arms that I'm going to tap on because they're sitting on top of a notepad that has questions that you all... What the heck is inside this? Oh, I forgot that I put fake nails in this box. Well, there's that. But...
like not at least not past like how's the weather um so with most things you can't i you can't put that for everything but when it when it comes to things like aliens sasquatch i was about to say uh, santa claus um when it comes to things like that i am a believer until it's proven false um but anyways okay i have three questions. And the, the third to last question is, uh, what is your tattoo of? Which I guess you guys have seen a little bit. I don't, it's really difficult to show unless I'm going like, there we go. You can't really see. I've <laughs> been trying to turn my arm so you can see. Uh, it's just, Oh. 
Insidious movies, the fourth one wasn't bad. It's just not good enough to be my favorite. That, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's not good enough to be a favorite. Uh, but I love those movies. Uh, if I have to go with something non scary, though, I've literally, for the past three months, have been watching Encanto every day. Ah, uh, best movie Disney has ever made. Just, I love the storyline. I love the way it looks. Like, the, just everything about it. The, the music is amazing. Um, and Mirabelle's literally the most perfect character Disney has ever made. And you cannot tell me otherwise. And by perfect, I mean, don't mean that she doesn't have flaws. Every character has flaws. But she's just amazing. That's all I can say. I don't want to say too much because obviously if you haven't seen these movies, then I don't want to spoil them from me. Spoil them from you. Spoil them for you. Um, but yes. You you can always like put on a scary movie or a Disney movie and I will always be down to watch. Those are um, probably my two personalities. Oh, and obviously, like most of the time this goes without saying, but you don't necessarily know this, but Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Disney, and Scary, those uh, are literally the only things that make up my personality. I, um, in 2020, I was watching Harry Potter every day. It didn't matter which one. Sometimes I'd try, try to watch all of them in the day, which, uh, is not easy. Sorry, I have, like, like, one of, one of the hairs on my head is, like, hanging, and you can't see it, but it's, like, itching my nose. But, yeah. So, anything scary, specifically by James Wan, in Kanto, uh, I also love, like, Beauty and the Beast, but, like, Beauty and the Beast live action, on popular opinion, is better than the animated version, that's just me, uh, and then any Harry Potter movie, I think my favorite Harry Potter is that Blood Prince, I will, I will watch that all day, every day, um, favorite is probably Sorcerer, no, probably Chamber of Secrets and then Sorcerer's Stone. But I feel like a lot of people, well, ever, everybody they've ever talked to has felt that way. But anyways, we are on to the last question. The, 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 the best question. No, I'm just kidding. All of these questions have been great. <laughs> um, this question was just just zodiac so i'm assuming you want to know uh what my sign is and luckily i have a couple friends who are really into astrology and so uh i've been learning i've like actually been learning a good bit about astrology the past couple weeks uh so my son my my sign i'm a Doris, Doris, Doris. I'm, I'm just, I'm done with the tapping. We're just going to, we're just going to end this with just you and me, okay? Um, but I'm a Taurus uh, with uh, Virgo rising and my moon is Pisces. Uh, I forgot what my Mercury was. Uh, I don't remember what my Mercury was, but I just, I know those are like the big three. So, uh, Taurus, I'm very stubborn, but it's an earth sign, so I'm grounded. Virgo, uh, rising, I think that's usually, like, how I want to be perceived or something. I don't know, uh, one of my friends gave me, like, an astrology cheat, cheat, cheat the other day. They texted it to me, uh, and it kind of, like, explained what each one does, uh, but the rising is supposed to be how I want to be per perceived. Which I love being organized and making lists, which looking at my desk you would never be able to tell that. But I did spend two to three hours yesterday creating a calendar uh, with a schedule of like my days. So if that's not Virgo enough for you, what is? I'm, I'm literally talking about like I know this, I really don't know anything about this. So I apologize if I'm saying anything wrong. I'm going off of memory. Or I think I'm going off of memory of what was told to me. Um, and then my Pisces moon uh, is just like how I deal with emotions. So there's that. Oh, and apparently it means I'm like dreamy. 
suggestions or any other triggers you'd like for me to try, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Also, um, if you just have any more questions for me in general, I'm sure, like, I could, uh, well, I could, um, what I'll do is I'll just write them down and I'll try to answer them in future videos. Uh, I really don't mind doing that. I know, I mean, we could always do another Q&A video if, if there's a lot of requests for it. But also, like, I do get questions occasionally, so I don't mind answering, like, one or two questions in a video of, like, something else. Does that make sense? I don't know. Guys, it's, like, almost two in the morning here. I'm tired. <laughs> I do this to myself. I know. This is just the best time to film. It's the quietest time to film, and I just, there's no distractions of 